Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it's Friday so it is weigh-in day. Let's chat about my week, the WW workshop topic and let's set some goals for May. It is May, we are almost halfway through this year absolutely crazy. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because we do a weigh-in every Friday and I do upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend. This is how I've lost 100 and 40 pounds, 90 in 2022. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability. And if you would like to chat with me directly, links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's talk about my week, my way in and the Weight Watchers workshop topic. Happy May. It is May and I'm excited because that means it is the start of summer, which this is the good part of spring and moving into summer and I am so here for it. Also, May is a special month for me because in less than two weeks, I head out for plastic surgery. If you missed my life update that I did talking about plastic surgery, I will link that video down below for you, but I can't believe that the time is here. Less than two weeks before I'm heading to Tijuana, Mexico with my good friend Amy for plastic surgery. I am going to vlog the entire thing. So if you've been thinking about plastic surgery in general, having plastic surgery out of the country and just what the whole experience it was like and involved, stay tuned for that vlog. I'm actually really excited to film that and share my experience with you. I want to chat with you about my week a little bit, but before I do, I actually just got the mail and look what's in the mail. I'm so excited about this. You guys know I love Clean Simple Eats. I already opened it. I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't resist. But you know that I love Clean Simple Eats products. I am obsessed with their protein powder. Actually, everything I've tried from the brand is absolutely amazing. They also carry greens. I take a green supplement every single day, but this is a new product to the Clean Simple Eats greens. This is their variety pack. So it says new green variety packs are here. The best tasting greens that actually work. I will tell you, they taste absolutely amazing. It helps to cleanse and detoxify, decrease bloat, improve gut health, boost immunity, reduce inflammation, and balance pH levels. What's in here are five flavors of green. So you get an opportunity to try out all of the different flavors. I love that they are in packs because I'll be taking these with me on my plastic surgery trip and I just like that they're pre-portioned out ready to go and you actually receive 10 little packs total two of each of the flavors so we have two of the green apple two of the sweet lemon two of the tropical this one is my favorite two of peachy greens and two raspberry lemon aid all of those in this handy dandy little sampler packet so I'm really excited about these I haven't tried all of the flavors of the greens I love the tropical I love the sweet lemon but clean simple eats everything I've tried like I said is absolutely incredible so I'm excited to not only have all the flavors I love that they come in these sample packs in a 10 pack little individual packets ready to go they taste amazing and it's a great way to get in all of your greens and of course reap all of the rewards from taking a greens supplement. So I will link the sampler pack and the Clean Simple Eats website down below with 10% off site wide. Before I jump into the workshop topic and my way in, let's chat a little bit about my week. As you know, I am back from my trip to New Orleans. I've been back for a couple of weeks now. I feel like my life is getting back to normal. I'm getting back to my normal routine other than the fact that I'm scrambling to get everything ready to go for my plastic surgery. Speaking of the plastic surgery, content will be a little bit hit and miss during that time, especially while I'm away having plastic surgery and recovering. So I'll keep you guys posted as what content will be changing. There'll be some videos missing while I'm gone, but I'm going to do my best to pre-film as much as I can and put up as much regular content for you as possible. And of course, stay tuned for that whole in-depth vlog. I was back to my workouts. In fact, my first day back to boot camp was this last Wednesday. And not only did she try to kill us, I mean, literally it was the hardest workout thus far at boot camp. I was sore for 
days. My booty, my inner thighs, my thighs in general, everything was sore up until Sunday. I was wondering if I was even going to be able to make it to boot camp on Monday. I was that sore. I made sure to take my turmeric supplement. I used my massage gun from Bob and Brad and did everything I could to alleviate the soreness. But holy moly, after being gone from boot camp for a little bit over a week, the soreness was real. Honestly, I'm dreading all the time off that I have to take for recovery. Even though I'm excited about this surgery and for the results, I'm not going to be able to go to boot camp for quite a while. And I know that my life is going to be miserable when I go back, at least till I get back into the swing of things. But I'm going to, of course, take it easy, follow doctor's orders. But man, that was a rough workout. That was a rough few days of soreness. I was also back to the gym, back to eating the way that I should. In fact, starting May 1st, I'm really buckled down on my diet because I wanna do the best that I can to relieve any inflammation, bloating, anything that could be a detriment to my surgery. So I wanna try to lean down, not weight wise, but just inflammation and bloating wise up until my surgery. So I've really been focusing on an 890% whole food diet with about 10% of those processed foods that I enjoy. You know, I need to have dessert every day. Sometimes I love a good chip or crunchy snack with my lunch, but I'm really cleaning up my diet these last two weeks leading up to my surgery. So I feel really good about my week overall. But before we talk about what the scale said, let's talk about this week's workshop topic because it is a really good one. And this is how to deal with a setback without blaming yourself, without beating yourself up for setbacks or what we like to call mistakes on our weight loss journey. You might be thinking, I have no self-control, I have no motivation, I have no willpower. I mean, how many times have we said that to ourselves throughout our weight loss? Let's review the tape of what really happened so that when you feel like you made a mistake or screwed up or don't have willpower or self-sabotaged yourself, how you can kind of flip the script. So what we're gonna do is follow some of these tips from Weight Watchers. Try this, press rewind. Imagine you're watching a movie of the days leading up to your setback. What was going on and how did you feel? Who else was around? Was anything different or unusual? Be a little bit of a detective. Look for things that contributed to your challenge. Were you tired, stressed, or distracted, and why? Did anyone or anything influence you, and how did that happen? Maybe you didn't plan ahead and you felt extra hungry. Edit your story. Consider moments that you could change to alter the outcome. What if you had low point snacks handy? Would planning a more filling meal have helped? Could you have stashed a high point food out of sight? And lastly, watch for version 2.0. See how things could have ended differently, then decide how you'll handle a future similar situation. No weight loss journey is perfect. We make mistakes. And if you set out on your weight loss journey, shooting for perfection, you're going to self-sabotage yourself pretty quickly because we're not perfect. Nobody's perfect. We're gonna have setbacks. We're gonna make mistakes. We're gonna lack willpower. We're gonna self-sabotage. We're going to overeat. It's going to happen not once, but multiple times throughout your journey. We need to focus on not blaming ourselves, giving ourselves a little bit of grace when these types of situations happen. Rather than thinking about how much of a failure you are, who's to blame, what's to blame, treat it as a learning opportunity. Replay what happened. What happened leading up to the situation. How could you change it in the future? What could you do better? What could you plan to help not self-sabotage in the future? But most import importantly, give yourself grace. Don't beat yourself up. Like I said, nobody's perfect. Mistakes are going to happen. And one setback or one mistake isn't going to derail your entire weight loss journey. It's what we do 80% of the time that matters. And 20%, we can screw up and still be successful. I want to share with you three fast facts from Weight Watchers. Number one, every setback has a backstory. Number two, rewinding the tape helps us recognize the specific chain of events, thoughts, and feelings that lead to that setback. Number three, this helps reduce self-blame and allows us to identify changes we can make in similar situations. Next time, don't beat yourself up. Just move on. Start over at the next meal the next day. And remember, you can screw up 20% of your weight loss journey and still see success. Let me put that into perspective for you. Out of a 10-day period, you basically have to be on track eight out of 10 days, which basically means that two of 10 days, you can be off track or have a setback and still be successful. That's about six days in a 30 day or a month period. Think about that. That 
that's at least one weekend day every week and maybe another little sporadic time where you have a little bit of a setback and you're still going to see success. So give yourself grace. Don't beat yourself up and remember consistency over perfection. So I really love this whole series on how to give yourself some grace that Weight Watchers is doing. And I think this particular topic is really beneficial for everybody. We all beat ourselves up. We're all going to make mistakes. And like I said, consistency over perfection, and you're going to kill your weight loss journey. Speaking of weight loss journey, let's talk about the scale. So you guys know that I got a new scale. I shared it in Wednesday's what I eat in a day from fit track. I'll link that video down below. If you missed it, I do a full review on the scale. I'm obsessed with it. I love that it not only tracks my weight, but gives me other data, which puts my mind at ease when the scale isn't always moving in the right direction. And for me, being at a stage in my weight loss journey where maintenance is kind of where I'm at, and like I said, trying to lean down, maybe not on the scale, but just inflammation and bloating wise, I was pretty happy when I stepped on the scale this week and had a maintenance. I didn't move a single ounce in either direction. I'm exactly the same weight as I was last Friday, which I am thrilled about. I will say that I feel a little bit leaner. I feel like the bloating that from my trip and from lots of eating out after my trip has dissipated and really focusing on really good, clean food for 90% of my diet not only makes me feel better overall, but the bloating and the inflammation has definitely gotten better. So I'm feeling lean, I'm feeling trim, I'm feeling felt, and I'm moving in the right direction towards where I want to be for plastic surgery. And on a side note, I've noticed that I've been a lot more satisfied focusing more on whole real food, which is come, which is to be expected. Processed foods don't keep us satisfied. Real whole food does. So I'm actually really enjoying this little bit of a spin on my diet. So now I want to hear from you guys. How was your week? Did you gain? Did you lose? What it, was it what you expected? And let me know, do you self-sabotage? Do you tell yourself you don't have any willpower and you're a failure because it's time to stop? Give yourself some grace and remember, just be consistent. No weight loss journey is perfect. I will, of course, link Clean Simple Eats down below for you with 10% off. Definitely snag this little green sampler packet. It's a great way to try out all the flavors and the greens are really absolutely delicious. I'll also put nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group. Come join us there down in the description box for you. Happy Friday, friends. I love you and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.